It turned out that the DS element couldn't act alone, and here's how McClintock found this out. She did the same kind of parental cross as she did before, but this time she crossed the male triple dominance with a different strain of female, but one that had the same triple recessive genetic background as the first female strain that she had used. So the expected triple hybrid progeny in this case should have yielded the same phenotypes as the original cross, meaning she should have gotten some variegated seed production, right? Some variegated pigmented seed production. But the triple hybrid kernels in this cross were all colorless. There it is. They were all colorless. As if the DS element that was linked to the C prime allele that came from the male was on its own unable to cause a chromosomal break. McClintock reasoned that this second female strain lacked a gene that the females in her original cross did contain. McClintock realized that the DS gene apparently needed the help of this other gene, she hypothesized, in order to break. This gene was present in the original female strain, which allowed the dissociation phenomenon, but missing in the new female strain. McClintock called the new gene the activator, or AC, gene. She defined DS and AC as an AC-DS system, responsible for the genetics behind mosaic seed coloration. Further studies led McClintock to conclude that the DS gene was actually a mobile element. She didn't use the term transposon at the time. She referred to mobile elements. She was able to show that DS activity could sometimes inactivate not the C prime gene or the C prime allele, but the dominant BZ allele, so that the progeny of some crosses would have no purple kernels. After all, this allele, this, this gene, is linked to DS when it's present. At this point, she realized that chromosome 9 containing a DS element was not simply breaking. The only way to explain what was going on was that the DS element must be dissociating in some way from its original locus, but movement into or next to either the C prime or the dominant BZ genes in order to disrupt them. So McClintock had discovered a mobile element long before transposons were found later in bacteria and eukaryotes, and for this and the rest of her remarkable career, she earned a Nobel Prize.